I'm muting my mic. Hello! How's it going? Happy Friday! Welcome to another episode of our Genesis game, Neath the Saturnine Moon. We are without Amara for the moment, but we will be joined uh, by Amara in a little bit, hopefully. Um, and uh, this is episode 8, I believe, which Nicholas has not at all uh, terrifyingly named Never Ending Circles. Because it's a good song, damn it. Suspicious. Suspicious. This is me this giving- This is a song that never ends. <laughs> so, with that said, let's go around and say hi to everyone. Uh, I'll quickly remind you that I am uh, your character today, Slanya, Slanya No More, uh, who I never get tired of saying is the failed vampire. <laughs> Previously, previously the Stitch, undead person, now discovered they are a failed vampire, and that's what they're going with. Because <laughs> it's just, it, it's so... I'm like this because I'm a failed vampire, you know? You know, you know when you could have been something cool and you're not? Well, whatever. Um, <laughs> let's go around and say hi to everyone. Uh, hi, Mole. Hi, yes, I'm Mole. I'm playing Christopher Benson, the arcane architect and regular butt of the party's jokes. <laughs> I mean, it's just regular butt. <laughs> regular butt too. The regular butt. Um, the highly anxious and neurotic member of the party. And, you know, next time you just need to try harder at undead school. I guess so. You're right. Yeah. Mm. I definitely I definitely didn't try hard enough at being uh, undead. <laughs> Adelaide. <laughs> Drop out. Uh, I yeah. I'm Adelaide. I'm playing John Quill, the dryad librarian, uh, who's very peppy, has a pet gecko, uh, gets into a lot of mischief, and is absolutely a smitten kitten over a little vampire in a mansion named Devereaux. And uh, yeah, hope uh, let's get into more shenanigans. Yes. Oh. Yes, we I mean, could still possibly go after wrong. this weekend. I'm still beat. <laughs> Valid. We Super... got back from PAX Unplugged. Yeah. My brain is still mush. <laughs> yep, yep. Two of us were at PAX Unplugged. We yep. got, we yep. got. And I live in Sometimes. England, so. Yep. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> so you, you can understand why we're all tired <laughs> right now. <laughs> Extremely. Um, but yeah. Uh, Nicholas, our darling Nicholas Game Master, totally reasonable, who's going to be nice to us today. We love you, Nicholas. Uh, I, yeah. I don't know about those, but you know. <laughs> <clears throat> uh, yeah, I, I'm Nicholas, and I will be Game Mastering this. Uh, hopefully it will turn out interesting. <laughs> <laughs> That's not a word I like. <laughs> it's it's a word I like because it can be both good and bad. Yeah, but whenever I think of the word interesting, I I think of the phrase "we live in interesting times," and that's mm. never good. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, no. Uh, I mean, you want to live in a comfortable time, hopefully, and that includes <sighs> everyone. Uh, but yeah, <laughs> we will uh, last session. The people went into a castle. Very, su chased. very successfully. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yep. Got shrunk down a little bit. So and was chased by a cat. <laughs> yep. Uh, they were uh, interrogated by the Duchess. Uh, made her uh, put her uh, physician slash housemaid into the arrest. Yeah, but you make yeah, that sound I mean, like it's I'm, a bad thing. <laughs> I mean, he deserved it, but you know. Yes, thank you. Thank you. Please acknowledge that part. <laughs> yeah. Uh, we did not put an innocent man in prison. Uh, and then you uh, were uh, given a few keys so you can sneak around. Right. Uh, on the Duchess's order. Uh, except that unofficially unofficially yes uh, and uh you split up and took different rooms because we're smart mm, yeah very smart 
I just noticed that the the test roll I did just to, to practice to get it for to make sure it fit in the layout is three successes and three advantages and that means I'm gonna have a crap time this game because I just wasted them all in that fake roll <clears throat> very sad uh, wow. I, I mean uh... I hope it's not like my uh, Dragon Heist game where we were carried by uh, our absent person. Oh. <clears throat> Mara will save us even if she's not here. Yeah, and I do recall that I dispelled all the magic. That's true. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You did. And didn't you yep. find like a secret hole in the wall or something? Yes, because I got a triumph on the dispel. <clears throat> so I managed to get here and just, it just went yeah. everywhere. Uh, um. Remembering that Slandia went away and uh, checked out the room with the uh, envoy from the yeah, capitals. the envoy. And uh, the other two went to search the twins' room. Evil twin. Yeah, yeah the evil twins' room. Because they have two separate rooms. Yeah. They don't just and have they, bunk beds. Uh, <clears throat> and they managed to... Uh, Set off a trap and uh, dispel it in almost one go. And that also meant that they found a hidden passage be behind some magical yeah. wall. Were we, were we meeting back up in the hallway or something like that? I, I, be no, I believe the last thing that happened was that I orbed you on silent to let you know about the tunnel in the evil twin's room so you could meet up with us. I believe right. that was the very last yeah. thing we did. That makes sense. I will never, I will never get over the fact that we have invented cell phones, magical cell phones. In this. <laughs> I'm on the orb. I'm on the orb. Hey, this yeah. is. Ru I'm <laughs> At least you can, like, you can, you know, uh, dramatically hang up on someone. Yeah, you know? it's very important. You can't do that anymore. Yeah, it's Either even way. more dramatic than a regular cell phone. Because it's an orb, you could just go. Exactly. Just it's like crush it. flip phones. Yeah, and the other one can hang up by you know dramatically casting uh, dispel magic. Mm. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> Which I hope someone does because I really want to figure out how the change reaction works when it, you know, the dispel magic travels to different places. I I definitely didn't <laughs> dispel it, but there was one time I tried to make a loud bang as I tried to hang up yeah. it. I I can't remember how successful that was, but I think it was successful at being rude. Yes, yeah. Slania is cool. <laughs> uh, the data plan on the magical cell phones are excellent. You just you know. Siphon off a little bit of your soul. The time. <laughs> Who needs oh, that? A reasonable <laughs> price. <laughs> so, we're going to start in as Slanya. Oh, dang. You are walking through the hallways. Okay. Uh, uh, okay. Where was that room again? Uh... Okay. Did Christopher give me directions on where I had to go? No, no. But we, but when we split up, we knew. Oh, I, I knew the general yeah. direction. Yeah. Okay. And as you say that, you that uh, the cats tilt their heads. Oh yeah, I have I have two and cats then... with me. I have Damien and Vagabond. Hey, hey guys, hey hey guys, where's where's the bad twins' room? I need to go there. Okay, and they look at you, and then they walk off i follow together. them and then they come to a t-section and they split up no like the it's like the creepy siamese cats <laughs> and lady in the tramp yeah and then one of them comes back and you uh, sort of oh. you get the impression that it's giggling a little bit dang it these cats are really messing with me okay haha ha, really funny guys come on this is important you you like the Duchess, don't you? You want us to help her? You should help us help her, okay? <laughs> I follow them. And they yeah, and they look at you again, and then shrug and walk off. And then you you see that there's an open door. Yeah. Uh, no, it's a closed door. And then they walk up to it and scratch a little bit on it. Okay, I check if to see if it's unlocked. Uh, yeah, it is. Okay. I peek my head inside. Yeah, you see a room. Uh, there are a big bed. There is a, sort of a, 
uh, I think it had uh, I feel like it had a big dressery thing in it, right? The yeah, thing that, that big they dresser moved? and some shelves and then you have a suit of armor that's lying on the ground Right, okay They told uh, me that they had found a secret thing, right? Yeah, but you don't see the secret uh, way. The heck? Inside, That's right. uh, Christopher and uh, John Quill, you see uh, Slanja in the room looking around. Hey, guys! Hey! Where are you? Because you've still got the illusion up, haven't you, John Quill, from when the guards came in? Ah, uh, over, over here. <laughs> Wait, where, where, where are you? I, I I wave at her behind the wall. <laughs> she cannot. She can't see me. No. Oh, I thought I you got that. You're saying like you reached a hand. No, 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 no. I'm waving behind the wall. <laughs> I, I'm gonna stick my head through really, really slowly. <laughs> oh, that's not creepy at all. As you say that, I, I, I want you to make a no. roll. Okay. Oh no. Who? Me. Uh, yeah. A stealth roll? No. Dang it. <laughs> uh, discipline that. roll. Discipline? Yep. Ah, sweet. I'm even better at that. Hey, uh, that's one success and three advantages! Yeah. Y y you feel uh, slightly spooked, but you also manage to not shout out yeah. as the head peeks out from the wall. Re real, really funny. Really hilarious. Now, let me, let me in. <laughs> come on. Come on. <laughs> How's it going? So you found, you found a secret tunnel. That's exciting. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Yeah, and we found uh... an animated suit of armor, which right, we found an animated which, suit of armor, mm -hmm. which got stopped. Which is... and, and books. We found books. Mm -hmm. and... Always good. Mm -hmm. And uh, that, that's it. Right? This looks ominous. Pointing at the tunnel. Oh, yeah, I'm in front of this, of course. Uh, hey, hey, uh, hey, furry fellas, you, uh, know anything about this? And I, like, point towards the, the hole. <laughs> See if they, and I, like... Yeah, the, the, they walk up and to the stair, and it's one of those circular ones that goes down. Oof! And they look down... And then they do this cat thing where they just plumps over to the side. Oh. <laughs> Can I roll to give it pets? <laughs> yeah. You don't have to roll to give it pets. Pets is a free action. <laughs> we pet the cat. I'll kind of get on the stairs kind of precariously because I don't know if they're old. I don't know if anything, but I'll sip on them. Yeah. A little jump. The, they are old uh, and they are uh, of metal. Hmm. You can see there are some rust spots mm -hmm. on there. Uh, <clears throat> Shall we? Uh, do you do you want me to go first? The whole being dead thing. If I fall down, you know not to do it. <laughs> well, yeah, but I don't want you to splat. On. It's fine. We'll be fine. It's it's fine. <laughs> <laughs> Just very carefully. Okay. Let's go. Is there are there any like torches or anything? Uh, no, but you also, you had that with you, so you know. Hmm. I think you got some lanterns. Um, I'm gonna look at my inventory right now. I ooh, I definitely have a light because I smoke. Yeah. <clears throat> I know that but about. I think but I, I'm thinking you actually had something that you could light up a little bit with earlier as well. So I mean, we can also have... we can also just use magic. But I, I literally, my only my only gear is like I'm, heavy yeah, I'm robes. I'm pretty sure we picked up candles or something from somewhere. Okay. Yeah. yeah, I seem to remember something about. Yeah, that. yeah. Okay. There, there was a candle outside of one of the rooms. Okay, cool. Flick. Huh? You want? I'll light it. Was it really I'm a lit? plant. Please keep that away from me. Oh, this is true. <laughs> Close. <laughs> Technically, I am also very flammable. <laughs> Did you know yeah. after you die, you become extremely dehydrated? <laughs> I didn't know that. 
<laughs> News to me. Tell you that. You do kind of crinkle when you walk a little bit, like paper, you know? Yeah, you know, it's hard It's hard to have a good moisturizing routine. <laughs> <laughs> My life used to be normal. <laughs> but isn't well, this uh, so much better? So I know! <laughs> <laughs> How are you descending on the stair? Carefully. Slowly and then all at once. <laughs> yeah. Um, I'm going slowly, but I'm being ready to cast some sort of magic to aid if somebody starts falling. Okay, yeah. Uh, who is the worst at sneaking? Hmm. Probably me. One white and a gray. Sorry, one yellow and a gray. Oh. Oh, you're... Well, I don't know what the yellow means. I've got three greens. Oh, I have one yellow and one green as well. So I don't know what, okay. if that's better or worse. It's actually uh, probably about the same, I would have thought. Yeah, yeah, yeah it, it means that the, uh, you're rolling fewer <laughs> dice, but you can get a big, better success. Uh, but I'm thinking that three green ones are still, you know, winning a little bit, because okay. they have... It's between guys. me and Don't Christopher. Don't you have a talent, though, for stealth? Uh, hang on. That's a so. good point. No, I think... Uh, my only talent is for, like, being in crowds, being, like, unnoticed in crowds. I'm unre oh, yeah, yeah, I've got I'm that as unremarkable well. is my only thing. Yeah, so yeah. we're exactly the same. When we're literally... <laughs> How did this so, happen? Uh, uh, who uh, steps on the staircase last? I do, however have a knack for it when it comes to mechanics you know with the building of stuff so that might aid me in picking where the good spots to tread are so you want to go first i was offering because i am already dead but <laughs> it's <laughs> yeah, totally which, one, which order are you going down in you want to go first because you're the most perceptive in terms of like architecture is that what you're I supposing could. i could I was originally going to go at the back just in case someone stumbled and then I'd be able to see it and then cast magic, but... Mm. But I'll go first if you want. I can go either way, honestly. If, if you want okay. to try and scout, then you can go first. <clears throat> I'll go first. Okay. Okay. Second. Do you want to go second or at the back? Jock will. I'll go. I'll go second. Okay. I'll, go I'll, second. okay. I'll watch our back and also try and convince the cats to come with. Hey, did you? Did you want? Did you guys want to come? You stay there. The, the, you want to go? Let's go. They are not yeah. moving. Okay. You, thanks for hanging out. Have a good night, <laughs> fellas. See you later. And uh, so I want Slonya to make the stealth rule then because you step on last. Mm, fair. And have the least of them. Okay. Can uh, do. You can roll now. And it's ready? Yeah. Uh, I'm on the wrong page. Hang on. I was looking. And then I'll... Ah, uh, ah, uh, stealth. There it is. Eep. Eep. Yeah. Uh, That's a failure. Not... <laughs> yes, it's a failure, but... Uh... So when you step on, uh, you hear the thing creak a little bit. I, I stand perfectly it's, still. <laughs> and it seems like it sways a little bit, and you can hear the metal creaking all the way down. Uh, excuse me, I ate some trash for dinner. No? No That's, one? Uh, I'll just pull berries out of my hair and hand it to you. <laughs> Thanks! But I can't eat literally anything, so it's really... Thank you. This is nice treat. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> nice, nice. Thanks. I can't eat it, but you know. No, I can't. Nailed it. Thanks. Thank you. <laughs> it's healthier than I'm used to. I, I literally eat, eat garbage sometimes because I can. So thanks. I'll start eating the berries. Can you keep walking? Yeah, as you go down, uh, it, it still creaks a little bit, but it's holding up. It seems like it's more or less because you are more people than what usually use this. Mm. Uh. <clears throat> Uh, and as you, after a short while, you set foot on the ground. And it seems to be a small room. Uh, 
uh, leading out into a corridor. And you can see that there are some uh, uh, boxes on the side. Like, uh, what kind of boxes? Uh, <clears throat> uh, it seems to be just generic boxes. Someone has carried down stuff here. Uh, the boxes themselves are empty now, to get closer. Uh, but you can see that there have been... Uh, uh, signs of, you know, some liquid. That has been spilled over in one of them. Uh, in one of them, you find uh, a robe folded up. Does it look like the robes that uh, Lech described? Yeah. Discount uh, cultist robes. How many? Mean... Just the one? Just the one. Didn't even spring for the good ones. I think you should have it, Sonia, because you're the talker. Great, thanks. <laughs> I like, take the robe and I just like <laughs> swish it over myself and I'm like, sure, why not? Heck, <clears throat> who knows? If I hadn't met y'all, maybe I'd have been in a super cool cult instead. <laughs> That's it's not too late. Maybe we all would have been. <laughs> put the put the hood up, cover my face over my already like because I yeah. I almost always already like cover my face as much as possible. So now I'm like double cloaked. <laughs> yeah, uh, and as you leave this place, you come into a, a corridor, and you can on the wall here you have uh, sort of hangers. There are some clothes hanging there. Mm -hmm. These are not uh, occultist robes, though. Uh, from what you can tell, it's probably a nicer cloak, uh, a hat with a small feather in it. Would it be fair to assume that these are stuff people took off to put on the cultist robes? Probably, yes. I put on the hat. <laughs> <laughs> Dashing. I put on my robe and wizard hat. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> This is going really, really well. <laughs> if if one gets to make that joke, you know that you have a good uh, campaign. Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> but no, I put on the hat, the little feather hat. Yeah. Doesn't work very well. Branches. <laughs> that, that must get in the way. Is it just the robes the down here? Just the clothes? The robes, the clothes. There are some. Uh, someone has probably changed uh, boots as well, because you can see that under one of the pair, they are a nice set of boots. One set of robes not taken. Yeah. That's probably position Loki dude who's in, currently in the dungeons. Mm. Do you think the rest of them down here? <clears throat> How many were, uh, were bought from Letches again? Uh, mm, I don't have a number in my. I, I found my notes and I don't have. How many? How many what? Let what? How, how many? Because they bought the robes from Letch. Yeah. I was what, trying to remember how many of them were bought, were bought. from Letch. I think 13. Mm. Which means we potentially have a dozen people down here. But I might be wrong. Because uh, my memory is, you know, goldfish. <laughs> okay, but maybe maybe they don't all meet up at once. Maybe they take, <clears throat> like, you know, opposite days. Maybe there's only yeah, a few and, of them. And as you continue, you can see that there are more clothes hanging here. And then ah. you see that there are five robes hanging on a on the coats. And these are yes. the fancy wizardy robes? Or these are the um discount uh, the discount <laughs> discount cult cloaks? Brand. 
I think we should all be wearing the discount cultist robes just in case. <clears throat> you never know, it might help. Good, good work. We're in disguise here. I'll put one on. I'll put on, I'll put in the accompanying wizard robe, so. <laughs> <laughs> I should put on the discount uh, uh, robes, but I'll be really awkward and it'll take me a couple of attempts to like find the arm and stuff like that. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like, oh my gosh, here, let me just do this for you. <laughs> ah. <clears throat> You're the human. How come you can't human? Come on. <laughs> I don't know how he functions I... on a day-to-day -day basis. How do you survive? It's been a very tiring day. Bearing in mind, I'm still on seven straight. <laughs> oh, I forgot! Oh, shoot! I forgot! You're actually... Okay, I want to try and heal him. I forgot that I wanted to heal him all oh, last... Oh, that's right! I wanted that's to heal right. him all last session, well, well, and I kept forgetting. Can I please heal him now? I'm like, oh, uh, shoot. Yeah, okay. You know what? I take back that one and only insult. The rest of them remain. Um... Uh, wait a little, uh, because I need to look up something. Okay. I just I just keep shoving berries into your mouth. They don't actually do anything, <laughs> but they taste pretty good. <laughs> they make me feel better. So just keep. they're not they're uh, not like good berries. They're that, just they're, <laughs> they're just berries. They're just jungle berries. The you just described them. They're placebo berries because they uh, make you feel good. But they they feel they, they're nice like mid afternoon snack. You know. <laughs> All right, and I'll never go hungry. It's fine. <laughs> I like my snacks. <laughs> uh, what did I want to use? I wanted to use my divine healing. That's right. <clears throat> yeah, uh, I'm gonna. Uh, see here. Uh, uh, I'm gonna remove the difficulties. Okay. Okay. Warm it up. Uh, I, got this. I got you. I got you. I, <clears throat> I want Christopher to make oh, either a uh, discipline. Or cool check. Well, they're both exactly the same. <sighs> All good? Yeah. 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 You recover two strain. Nice. Okay. Down to five. Excellent. Thank you. That helps. <clears throat> hey. Takes the edge off. So, sometimes I help. I'm trying to remember why I got most of that most of that straight. I think it was because of it was a lot. Yeah, I feel like you were just doing a lot of really magic. intense you magic. Did. Yeah, the, the shrinking us. You, you. It was really hard for you to shrink so many people all at once. I think, or something like that. I think that was it. Yeah. Or when we were climbing, climbing upside the wall outside. Yeah, it, it was a lot of things that just added on. Mm. Yeah. Okay. Uh, but yeah, you, you managed to get dressed. Well done. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> and uh, yeah, uh, the hallway continue, seems to continue a little bit. Uh, and then there is some light at the end of the tunnel. I think we should put our lights out. Let's, let's everyone have cloaks up, lights out. Let's hide right. in the corner. Yeah. <laughs> Quiet as... Stand very <laughs> ominously. Like I'm hanging on the coat rack, you know? <laughs> uh, yeah, um, and, and as you uh, approach, you see that there are some uh, uh, torches hanging on the wall. Do we see any people? As we sort of uh, like, if we like move really slowly forward and like, yeah, or hear people. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, mm. yeah make a perception. I'm not good at that. Someone else do it. Well, I'm listening because I'm probably at the back now. Okay. So I'm keeping my ears out. So if somebody else wants to look for them. Okay. Uh, oh, I got a success and an advantage. Am I work? Yeah, yeah, it, yeah, it just all cancelled out. So oh, I, mean, I see. Yeah. You just you didn't get a threat <clears throat> or a failure, so that's good. There we go. You know? You also didn't succeed, I don't think. Okay, good. I yeah. think 
Yeah, no, no, it, it, it when it's blank, it's more like you know, uh, status quo is yeah held. So, and no, increase uh, or decrease in threat, which is yeah. always a good thing. Slanya? Oh, am I doing it too? Dang it! Okay. Yeah. Look at us! Uh, I'm gonna have some talk with Eric later. <laughs> <laughs> well, Row 20 isn't completely, ob completely obliterating us now. I know, I know. I feel like it's being hugely like... Hugely helpful either. I know. I, that's why I'm not complaining. I'm not complaining. Because I feel like <laughs> normally I do a lot worse in this game. Uh, but I'm used to far yeah. more of those big X's coming yep. up. Mm, yep. <laughs> and the big, I'm like, I'm literally looking through, I'm trying to remember what the big scary threats. What's the opposite of a triumph? It's despair. Yeah, despair. 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 That's the one. Yeah. So, yeah, uh, uh, Christopher. We've had one in the, yeah. in the campaign. Christopher, you hear uh, noises. Uh, what Some kind talk? of noises? Human noises talk. Okay. I mean, it's. And uh, as you get closer, uh, you pass a few of the torches to get to the end of the corridor. And it opens up into a room. And you seem to be on a, sort of a ledge. And you can see that there is a stair going down. And below, you can see that there are people in robes. Uh, there are... Uh, Nine of them. Okay, so, so we're on like a balcony. Is it a solid yeah, balcony? Yeah, yeah, it's a solid balcony because so if we creep, if we crouch down on the balcony, they won't be able to see us. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to do that. Fit. I'm going to put into my bag, into my toolkit that's in my bag, and pull out a small mirror, like, yeah, look like that. Because there's no light up here to reflect <laughs> down. So. That's going to be a lot less obvious, you know, a small little... Well, there is a, a little light because there are torches on the wall in the corridor. Mm. Yeah, but if, I, if, my not, back's like, if my back's on the balcony yeah, and yeah, I'm exactly. like that, yeah. the yeah. light's going to be coming that way, not yeah. that yeah. way. Yeah, and down there you see nine people. Uh, eight of them have discount robes. One of them has a more fancy one. And you have seen this robe before because, you know, this is the robe that uh, stole uh, your... Uh, Half pages. <gasps> Owena. Owena is the evil one, right? Yes. Is the evil one the one with orange? No, the good one's the one with orange eyes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And uh... not that we'd be anywhere near close enough to be able to look at the eyes. No. <laughs> yeah. yeah, but... <laughs> good to know. It's good. Good. Good to remember. Yep. And uh, as you look down, you see uh, there is a big pentagram on the ground uh, made from, uh, seems to be made of some, uh, I don't, you don't, I'm not sure if it's gold or some kind of brass thing. Rich Satanists. <laughs> I'm just going to quickly ask on an out of character level. Um, in your game world, is the pentagram the whole evil Satanist type thing, which is currently used in popular culture and media, or is it the traditional, more protective circle of it's, the original sort of roots? It's it's more of sort of a protective thing. Uh, it's sort of a focus for arcane energies. Hmm. Uh, okay. <clears throat> just means they're kind of like conjuring up. And doing something? Stuff, yeah. Uh, Can I see anything in the room that looks like it could be the vessel of the energy that they have been amassing? Mm. Um, that's a good question, yeah. Uh, from where you are standing, uh, make a perception roll. Okay. Is there... Uh, wait a little... Is I was there... really hoping it was going to be a knowledge forbidden uh, <laughs> to, to recognize uh, what would be the vessel, but... I, I, I'm going to give you a blue die for that. Okay, thank mm. you. Nice, nice. And, because my knowledge uh, forbidden is so much better. <laughs> yeah. Mine too, mine too. Oh, it's almost... Temp no, I, I, I'm not going to spend a story point on this. Yeah. 
Mm. I don't see a thing. <laughs> yeah, people are running, walking around, and it's hard to get a focus. Uh, okay. What you see, though, is there are people uh, there uh, walking around in the coat robes. You see the... Now that you're thinking about it, though, with your uh, knowledge and all, you think it's probably copper because it's a conduit. Uh, so they have made a permanent seal on the uh, ground. Interesting. It also makes sense given they were uh, using electricity to yeah. funnel yeah. the energy, so copper would make sense. It's just the night of the moving around. There's no like. It doesn't look like there's any sacrifices or anyone like currently right. here. Can I get an More idea rituals. of like what the fuck they're doing? From any of my studies. Uh, th that is uh. Knowledge forbidden. <laughs> knowledge forbidden. Yes. Okay. <laughs> I can roll for that. I can roll for that. Okay. Yes, you Ready? Can. You can. Okay. Yeah. Ooh. Oh my god. god. My god. <laughs> what is the end roll? Seen. One, two, three, <laughs> four, five, many. six successes and two threats. Oh gosh. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> the threats will be that you are a little bit spooked because you think mm. they're actually preparing to use some of the magic. Or perhaps even. A, they're, they're preparing to do something, and it seems like they are doing something big. Uh, gotta stop them, and like, fast. <clears throat> okay. Magic. The counterspell action. Is it possible for us to take positions up here and do kind of like a counterspelly thing which would stop their ritual from working and they won't know why? Possibly. Ooh. You don't know. But Ooh. you can try. That's interesting. I quickly say it to the other two, because they're both got they're both trained in the <clears throat> in arts. I, what if we take position up here, use our magic to disrupt theirs? Their ritual won't work, and they may not know why, which will give us more time to get the Duchess down here to show her everything. Please wheel it out. You can hear from below. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. And one of the hooded figures run out into another room. And then you hear this sort of squeak. You can see him pushing in a cart. Uh, uh, here it is, and on this cart, it's sort of, it has uh, uh, sort of a makeshift pedestal with some liquid that's bubbling up, and there is a head on a pike. Pike! Ed, whatever his name was. Yeah, Ed, Edward? Yeah. Ed. Was it Edwin? I think it was uh, Edwin. It's Ed. It's Ed's, it's Ed's head. head. Edric. Ed's head. Edric. Edric. <laughs> that's, that's right. It. That's right. That's right. Okay. And uh, I still think Ed's head is the best term to use for it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Better when it rhymes. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, it's. Uh, is it prepared? As as much as we can, ma'am. Uh, you know, uh, we can siphon off a little bit of the magic to, you know, reanimate it. Good, because I need to get these notes right. Uh, They're going to talk to the dead dude to, resurrect, to reconstruct the bones. Okay, she said she really needs to get stuff right. And uh, I could try cursing her. To just be unable to say or write the right words. Because I can do very can small curses. I like this, That's so good. she gets it all wrong with the information she gets. Yes. I can't do them, but I know a lot about them. <laughs> I Surprisingly, curses fall under divine <laughs> magic, apparently. <laughs> I'm not looking this up right now. This is something I know. <laughs> and it says that small, annoying curses are easy. <laughs> yeah. So it's good. she's got it's on the tip of her tongue. Yeah. Can I, yeah. Can I just like have like can I just curse her with a really annoying curse where she just can't quite get it right? 
Or she can't quite get it out. We can try, yeah. Do you think uh, that's okay? What? Do you do you all think that's that's a start? I, I think more than one of us should do it. The more we've affecting her, the more she gets it wrong, the better. Okay. I just I thought because you just wanted to do like a temporary thing to impede it. So that's that's why I was suggesting that. If someone has a bigger, okay. better idea. Oh no, that sounds great. Mm. I love it. I mean, okay. Okay. Um hmm. All right, you distract her with the thing, and then I can send Elwood down to steal the pages. Didn't she have like a vessel, or or was it just the head? Can we see her half of the pages? Uh, well, she's holding on to them, so yeah. Mm. He has very okay, sticky so fingers, though. He does. He does. Hmm. I mean, he could grab something, maybe. Uh. There's Dispel if either of you are good at Arcana, but I'm much better at Divine for some strange reason. <laughs> I think Divine is my weak one, actually. Yeah, yeah. it doesn't make sense, because I'm dead and it's good uh, against me, but maybe that's why I learned it so good. good. <laughs> yeah, I'm definitely better at the Arcane and the Primal. And then, have you seen... Auger somewhere. No, 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 ma'am. He's. I think he's probably still with the Duchess. Oh well. We don't need his help, but <clears throat> it will be a little bit tricky with so many of us gone. But we shall manage, especially when we extract the information from this. And then she boops the head on the nose. <laughs> she booped it. This clearly is no longer a serious moment. <laughs> <clears throat> okay, so did did you want to go in on this curse with me, or did you want to try your own thing, Christopher? What well, I'll do is I'll hang back in case things go wrong. Okay, and then so we've got some magical options to react. Okay, and then John Quill, you're gonna prep Elwyn in case, in case he needs to do anything. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So, what kind of curse are you looking for? I'm, I, I'm like, like literally a can't get your words right curse. Like, I'm looking for like a just can't, can't quite get it out. Yeah. Just can't. So you're gonna curse the head. No, on her, on because she's the one doing the spell, right? Yes, so you're gonna make okay. the spell happen wrong. Yes, basically. That's what I'm trying to do. <clears throat> it literally so, uh, says it, the easiest form is to do something annoying, such as causing someone to sneeze uncontrollably. And I feel like just messing up your words uh, or like having something at the tip of your tongue is like just you, annoying. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so yeah, uh, don't think. Uh, I have a question. Does she count as undead? Oh, that's only for if I attack physically, I think. Yeah. yeah. Forget it. It is too difficult, but you can add a one if you want uh, to add uh, a, an effect for misfortune. Yeah, because I, no, I don't think it'll work. I think it's only for attacking. Yeah. I have Wraith Bane, which um, your character counts the critical rating of their weapon. Yeah, weapon. Oop. That means that uh, she, when she casts this, have. Uh, we'll see what happens first when you roll. Okay, so I'll roll. Okay. So, um, I have added the things. Okay, so I'm going to do my magic roll. Hey! Yes. I think I you can do special things with that, Connie. I got three successes. <laughs> Eric's fine. He's fine. Su he survived another night. <laughs> uh, three successes, two advantages. You can do stuff, I think. Uh, let's see if I can find it. Uh, additional targets, I'm guessing. Uh, no, I mean, that adds uh, 
difficulty to the oh yeah yeah sorry oh, so it's not those uh, it is something else now i'm gonna find the it's for this one yeah, it says it gets harder as it gets more dangerous, which is why I wasn't yep. going for something dangerous. I was just going for something like annoying, it's stumbly. Yeah, I don't think they have a good uh, spending advantage for the spell, so we should just make stuff up. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> show the best kind. Uh, mm -hmm. So I'm going to add mm -hmm. two black one. Uh, and and you're doing the misfortune one. Wait, was that? Yeah, yeah. And I'm going to remove the black one because I'm going to add things to her character sheet. Because mm. yeah, I think the misfortune means you automatically turn the yeah. square dice to a failure. Oof. No, oh, thank you. Well, that's for her, though, right? Yes. Ooh, yeah. So, yeah. Okay. <laughs> good. Good. Okay. Good. 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 So we just made it much harder for her to succeed at what she's doing. Perfect. Yep. Aha! Aha! I did a good curse. A curse so good, y'all. Heck. Yeah, hope, hopefully, this works. Uh... <laughs> hey. Something's got to work someday, doesn't it? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 So that's that, just that's, good... that's just two threats, a... but it's still uh, not a success. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Which means that might be the perfect result because she might think she's done it. Yeah, exactly. She just yeah. thinks it kind of like just didn't work. Ha ha. Yeah, and, and she he stands there and she uh, extends her hand, and then she pulls up this uh, sort of a big crystal. I mean, it's. Big, yeah, so you know, uh, smaller than a melon, but bigger than an apple. Okay. So, so it's sort of a, you know. So a small melon. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and okay, it's... you say melon. Because <laughs> watermelons are. I know, which is why it's not. <laughs> yeah, it's not a full. It's like, like a small. Yeah. <laughs> a small melon, which is always bigger than an apple. Yeah. Uh... <laughs> I mean, it, it, it's a jewel that is basically Ooh. the size of a how, small child's head. How sparkly is it? It's very sparkly. Ooh. Uh, <clears throat> and as she, she holds it, you can see that energy is just sort of pulsing out into her hand. Oh my God. And then she puts her hand on the head. Gross. And she starts to... Uh, chant something you're not entirely sure what and then it seems like the energy travels over to the head and then it the head just you can see that there's some sort of a ice in it that sort of shimmers up and then the mouth of it opens up and it goes ah While she's doing that, uh, does she still have her hands on the papers? Because she's got one hand with the crystal. And one no, hand she doesn't. She doesn't have the papers. Ah. Are you know? You, Go just... get, get the papers. <laughs> okay. It's trying to which to go and get them. <laughs> go, Ellen. Go. Go, Cleaver. Go. Scamper. <laughs> uh, and uh, Elwood is small, so he gets a make a stealth roll. Oof, okay. Attempt to try and cause a distraction. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and and, and Elwood is climbing down uh, on because you know climbing mm -hmm. is easy for a gecko. Right. So I mean, it climbs, yeah, climbs down and then it uh, leaps up, hangs on to the uh, a robe pocket a little bit, and then tries to climb up and swing. So it's sort of like you know. Hang in their poster, but with the gecko instead. <laughs> mm. <clears throat> so it's then really it's, cute. It's yeah, and then cute. it goes up, and then it falls down into the pocket, and then come 
comes up with the uh, pages in its mouth. Good boy. Uh, and then this is this, this is not right. I need to. And then suddenly a hand just grabs. What the hell is this? As she starts putting her hand backwards, <laughs> can I cast a spell to basically yoink the gecko up? <laughs> <laughs> sure. Oh my god. It's going to be tricky because, you know. Uh... Grab that gecko. <laughs> Grab that gecko and run. <laughs> Without those pages, she's screwed. We could just run. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and uh, I'm gonna. Yeah. This is this this is a tricky role to make. Just so you know that. Uh yeah yeah yeah. And, and by tricky, I mean really really fucking hard. Oh dang okay. it. Okay. Well, my free story point will go into. Oh, it. good idea. Good okay. idea. Yeah yeah yeah. Yep. So I, have story point. I love I love that free story point. Each session would be <laughs> yeah. <a commoner. laughs> That's what you get. That's what you got as a human, right? Uh, yeah. for a co as a commoner yeah, yeah I mean, there's okay. other human ones which don't get that but okay. yeah in, in genesis proper it's uh the human basic human one okay all right yeah so okay, well, i'm move. guessing it's going to be our Arca arcana is probably the most appropriate for this right yeah sure that's kind of magic Nice. Yeah. So she goes back and to pick it up, and then there's a thug as you know the geckos fly over, and everyone just see a flying gecko with uh, pages in its mouth go. Go flies up into my hands. Yeah, I've got the robes on, like I'm yeah, one of and, them. And then everyone is looking up at you and. I hand the run. gecko to John Quill and go, run! <laughs> get, buffoons, get out after them! And then you have the, you know, people are just running towards the stairs. Yeah, we're going. We're, we're running. Going. We are booking it. Uh, and every one of you... Uh... I want you to make athletics roll. Oh, yay. Oh, <laughs> I just know this is going to be bad for me. Because uh, you are running with, you know, uh, big robes not made for running. Oh, oh right. <laughs> okay. Oh, okay. I'm good. I'm good. <laughs> okay. I fail. Yeah, Christopher yeah. got a failure and a threat. You got two successes. Oh! Uh, Hey, a success yeah. and two threats. So I'm the one that's lagging behind, am I? Yeah. Uh, you are <laughs> lagging behind and you can feel one of them just grab a hold of you, Christopher. Uh, and as they do this, both of you stumble and fall. Both uh. you and the other ones. So you are tumbling around. So there are two people in robes on the ground. None other is certain who is who. Oof. Okay. And, I, uh, I know what my reaction will be because of the whole panic, personal space invasion thing. I know what. <laughs> Way off the bat, I'm just going to do arcane barrier and just like push him away. Yeah. Uh, John Quill, no, Slanya, you get uh, two strain. Oof. Okay. And John Quill is probably halfway up the stairs already. <laughs> John Quill's got the gecko and the pages. So this is the important it. part. Yeah, seriously. <laughs> Go! From a, you know, getting the job done, we're doing it. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I mean, I'm and doing it. I, when John Quill is running and Christopher is on the ground, uh, we will uh, have a small break. Nice. <laughs> Mara here. Yay. Okay. Yay, Mara. So, Mara to save the day. Yes, please. <laughs> oh my gosh, that's so actually really. They just like... appear at the top of the stairs, looking <laughs> ominously down. Yeah, it's actually really thematically appropriate that they would come <laughs> save us now. I uh, have come. <laughs> um. So we're gonna go away. We're gonna hydrate and stretch out. You should do the same. And when we're back, we will have Amara with us. So see you soon.
<laughs> oh, look, another sock. <laughs> Hi, we're back, and we found ourselves Amara! Yay! Hello. <laughs> so... <returned>. So... <laughs> a little bit previously, on the roof of the tower, uh, an ord has, you know, expanded again from being very small. Mm -hmm. Uh, oh. And you're sitting there next to a gargoyle. Uh, so are you uh, look out often? Mm, not not too much. This this is a new thing. <laughs> Running around investigating mysteries. <laughs> that must be nice. But whenever uh, we get. Uh, Whenever I hang out with other people and they are doing something mm -hmm. interesting, they they all set always you know assign me to be the lookout. It's salting mm -hmm. a little bit, really. I mean, I I like being still. It's We're true. made to be still, but yes, I mean, same really. But I mean, it, it, I mean, I am not the stereotype. I mean, we are people. Mm hmm. Oh, yeah. Gargoyles. No. Same. No. <clears throat> Are you saying you don't want to be a lookout anymore? Yeah, no. Uh, well, this is nice, though, but, you know, yeah, on most days I, I like to be something else. Mm. Mm -hmm. Like a baker. You. A baker. Good. They get up early in the morning. They I'm do. always up early in the morning. There you go. Perfect, perfect occupation for you. You should do it. Like yeah. A, yeah. I think I'm going to do that. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm handing in my notice with the guild. Whoa. Make it official. Yeah. All right. Support you, man. Yeah. Fuck the thieves. I mean, what are they going to do? Stab me in the back? Huh. Well, if they do, I can help with that. Well, I mean, I want to see them try, though. I mean, it's just, you know, rocks. Hmm. Mm hmm. True. We're ready. This is kind of boring out here. Do, do, do you want to help get in? I mean, the window is still open. True. I mean, I give it like, I haven't heard any screaming yet. The last time I left them, I, I came back and they were running like, just, it was not good. So I. You know what? Let's go in. I mean, fuck sitting here. I mean, it's starting to rain as well. Yeah, true. Rain second. I don't like the rain very much. Yeah. It wears on you. All right. I'm yeah. okay with this. Hang on. And then he grabs a hold of Odd and flies. And both of them goes into the window and, you know, climbing in. It's, it's a little bit bulky for the gargoyle. Yeah. And he steps on a bedside table that's just beside the bed. And you can hear the, bow, the uh, legs <laughs> of it just break. <sighs> Oops. Ah. Oh well, they can make some new ones. It'll, they have, they, I'm sure they have spares. These fancy places like this always have spare end tables everywhere. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then you see a woman standing there, going through the books, and oh, I ah, uh, you're with Hello. the other people. What's that? You are with the other people, I assume. Y yes. <laughs> yeah, and she has uh, dark hair, uh, made up very neatly. Uh, a little bit pale, but not undead pale. Okay. Uh, and you can see a cat sitting on a 
workbench. And do I ha- have any idea who she is? Y- yeah, this is the Duchess. Okay. Uh, and remember, which cats were with Slonia previously? Uh, it was Vagabond and um, Damien. Damien? Yeah. Damien, yeah. Those two are with me. Who's the other one? Misty. All right, so we just got one cat with her. Yeah. I assume then. Do 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 you know which way they went? Uh, yes, I do. They went investigating a few rooms. Uh, they have uh, probably an hour or so left until. I gave them two hours, and then I. If they do not pick up any, find anything, I might have to, you know. Uh, make a smaller official gesture, but nothing severe, but just so you know. Hmm. Okay. Right. A symbolic one, really, because they are still acting on my orders. True. Well, I am going to... Uh, What is your name, by the way? Odd Shale the Younger. I will give, like, a... A pleasure to meet you. Um, I am, of course, uh, Duchess Isabel de Lateran. But I think you already asked you about that. This is uh, Misty, and she scratches the cat behind the ear, and it looks... At you and me. I will give the cat as equal a <laughs> fancy bow. <laughs> yes. <clears throat> yes. Uh, well, uh, I don't think I can find anything else in here so well. Uh, uh, please, uh, Goggle, can you... Uh, This is official uh, business, and I don't think I want the guild in on this. Uh, uh, You know? Yes. I know. That's what I do. Uh, Can I go to the kitchen? Sure. Through the door. I mean, it's raining out. Yes, you may. Or he could. No, uh, we we need stealth, and I mean, as much as I like. Uh... Wow, how tall are you? About Odd. three meter, three meters or something. He's looking at the gargoyle. Oh, okay. He, he... They are not, you know. Inconspicuous indoors. The goggle leans over and whispers in your ear, She's got a point. I know, but you're, uh, we were gonna like, gonna do like a buddy cop thing. <laughs> <laughs> nah, I, I, I said I wanna be a baker. I said, No, 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 no. I, I, I ain't okay. no cop. All, I ain't. All right. I, 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 and it takes a step back and, No, no. I I have pride, I mean. Fair, fair. All right, well, go forth. Yeah, kitchens, and then you can maybe, like, swipe, and then I, like, lean over, and I'm trying to be sort of surreptitious. You could maybe, like, swipe a jar of yeast or something that they've got in there, and then when you open up your bakery, you can, like, you know, advertising, just go, sort of go you know, the royal, fancy noble red same thing <laughs> uh, yeah uh, I'm gonna have to what is your stealth my stealth yeah uh, good question hang on hang on let me find that that sheet where did my sheet uh, <laughs> uh, it's a uh, one uh, okay uh, 
can also be, I think. Uh, Skullduggery? Yeah, Skullduggery. Skullduggery is two. Let's do that one. Two, uh, so it's, uh, what is the full? Is it uh, one difficulty and two? Uh, I've got red. two two of the yellows and one green. Yeah. Uh, and that one. Because now I'm going to roll for the. Uh, it was vigilance, I think. Yes. Yep. Ooh. Yeah. To fail yourself. She doesn't seem to hear it. Wait. Uh, are we uh, going to go find your friends? Yes. I mean, it is a little bit early, but I, I really want to see what they're up to. Me too. Fair. All right, top of fire. I feel yeah. that's the point they cut to the bit of me just falling on the ground. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> And then we cut back right away, and uh, as odd and uh, they're just walking through the halls of the castle, and then we cut back a little bit to you again when uh, you are, you know, entangled in and trying to get up a little bit, and then we cut back, and <sighs> this door was closed before, I think, so I think they're here, and let me push it up. And I think the concentration is broken on the illusion, the wall. Oh. Uh... Hmm. That is not supposed to be there. And she's pointing. At the giant uh, hole in the wall? Yeah. The giant hole in the wall? <laughs> oh. And as this happens, uh, John Quill runs out of that. <laughs> Just running uh, right past you. <laughs> oh, hey, hey. Oh, uh, get, get, um, what? Uh, uh, cultists. Cultists. Col <laughs> In <Okay>. my castle? <laughs> um, is... uh, uh, Yes, and I take off my, my robes because I'm still wearing coldest <laughs> yeah. robes. <laughs> oh. Not me, but down there. Right. Okay. Oh, it's a sister. But she's doing like a ritual with like a head, but it got the papers. And I shake them. Uh, a head? Uh, yeah, um, yeah, a head. Necromancer's head. We had told yeah, her it about kind of works too. Yeah. Yes. Doing foul magic on a severed head, that's just... Oh. Yeah, it didn't really smell very nice down there, so I'd, I'd watch her, I'd watch her, you know, watch her step. And Christopher. You wanted to do something. Yeah, I'm looking through the magic. It's probably going to be an attack action, because basically I'm yeah. going to basically blast him back with magic. Yeah. The idea is to put as much distance between him and me, so I'm throwing yeah. him backwards. I'm not aiming for damage, I'm aiming for distance. Yeah. Uh, but I'm not sure how exactly that's going to work on the magic rolls. Uh, uh, Arcana? Okay. Um, I'm guessing, or... is that blast? Uh, yes. So it's going to be whatever the base attack plus one difficulty is going to be. Yeah. Uh... I'm going to say it's also close combat. Okay. Uh, but you can remove the blast if you just want to target one person. I don't want to target one person. The guy who's grappled hold of me. This is yeah. like an instinctual, you know, my personal space has been made. I just want them off. Yeah. So I'm not after the other ones. Yeah, no. So I'm going to say it's just close combat and uh, an attack. Okay. And uh, attack. Uh, which uh, are you using the? Which are you using? Which spell? 
Uh, well, my guess is it's going to it's going to be an arcane attack, but yeah. the idea is, like I said, instead of you know trying to pierce him, I'm pushing. So yeah. I don't know. It could be barrier. I don't know. No, no. We're going with attack. I'm just thinking which skill are you going to use? Oh, it'll be arcane. I think I default to arcane unless I'm actually thinking yeah. about it. It was probably so, yeah. the one I learned first. You can make the roll. Ooh, yeah. Yes. Nice. <laughs> I looked nice. at it. I'm going, which symbol is that? Which symbol is that? Which symbol is that? <laughs> yeah. So the you. Good ones. Those are good ones. You basically hadouken this guy away. So he flies up and then hits the wall and tumbles down. And you can go up and you can hear other people start running towards you. I'm just going to start running. Yeah. Uh, and upstairs, uh, Slania. You are running. Uh huh. And you have some guy who ran past Christopher when they were entangled behind you. Okay. So both of you just run out into this room and you can see uh, uh, John Quill and Odd and uh, the Duchess standing there. Okay. And all the three cats and all of them are just looking at you and then you see feel this bump running into you and then uh, they also stop and oh. And it looks into the room. I want to take Shit. out. What do I have? I think I have a dagger, and I just want to take the like the butt. I just want to hit him yeah. in the head. Do you know what I mean? I just yeah. want, feel like, oh, your Majesty, donk. Like I just want to like <laughs> while he's distracted with like walking into this room. I don't want to yeah. like take this dude out. I just want to kind of like knock him down. Fingers crossed. Yeah. Okay. Make a knife attack. Okay. Uh. Hey, hey, yeah. it's a success you, and a threat. Oh boy. You hit him uh, and he tumbles down, uh, but he also drags, gets a hold of your arm, so he's holding on ow. to that one, I see. Uh, ow, 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 stop it. <laughs> could you please behave like people? <laughs> Uh, so I was double checking if I had, no, I'm only particularly good against things. Okay. Uh, I'm sorry. These cultists are hanging out in your basement, doing no good. They were about to almost succeed on some sort of really not cool magical spell. And one of our friends is missing. So, you know, I was just trying to put them down quiet. Like there are no cultists down there. I mean, Hey, you uh, proceed. <laughs> And, and then you look. The person looks. You see the robe. Yeah. Mm, baloney. You are very clearly full of full of beans, and also cloaks. So you know, just stay quiet. <laughs> Uh, yeah, uh, and uh, where's Christopher? <laughs> Christopher comes now running, and you can see that there are quite a bit of people are standing here. Uh, we, maybe we want to as move. soon as I get as soon as I get to the top, I'm going to just turn and just blast about three or four of the steps behind me out. Mm. <laughs> okay, yeah, you don't have to roll for that because you just unleash your magic. So they could jump it, but they're going to have to think about it. Yeah, and you see the, the guy, you, uh, one of the other people that was running comes up, and then he looks, and he can see you shooting, and then you go, oh, shit, and then he just leaps. Okay, inside. so I do the blast. I turn around, see the countess, look back at the hole that I've just made in her castle. I know how to fix that. <laughs> <laughs> I... of, of course. Uh, and let's see who this person is then. And and they, uh, you don't have to no no, Scooby Doo style mask reveal. Yeah. <laughs> I yeah. want I want do I have a move that is the Scooby Doo mask reveal because that's yeah no what? you just you just do it. Okay, I, I just want to say to the chat yeah that one of the things that's funny about this is there was a conversation in our Discord for the game 
about us being the Scooby Doo crew. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, clearly. I I think so. Okay, so yeah, we demask this sucker. Yeah, and uh, I'm thinking Christopher and the Duchess know this person anyway. It's a sort of a middle-aged man uh, named Albin. He's an uh, associate of uh, the Bensons. They make some dealings with them. You do you know do you know this person? <laughs> <laughs> exactly that face. Words. Use your words. Wait, I, I. Alpin, you're fired. Well, <laughs> I, 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 I. Can he do I, that? You do not have any saying about your father's business. When I inherit the business, you're fired. <laughs> <laughs> well, perhaps you will not in inherit the business if I... C can you please just bring him along? We, ha we have a dungeon for these things. Albin, you are hereby charged by uh, conspiracy and... Uh, what was it? Witchcraft, did you say? Oh, yeah, that, that, that will be do. Uh, uh, <clears throat> Necromancy. Necromancy, yes. <laughs> uh, I'm going to turn to John Kong and go, and go, are the pages okay? Uh, uh, I was just standing there. Uh, uh, Imitating odd the entire time. It's very painful. Um, <laughs> my face doesn't work that way. Um, yes, I, 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 sh I shake them like, we got them. We got the papers. We got the papers. And I shut down the Oh, hi, Ord. Hi. I'm confused. This is exciting. We have papers? What papers? The, the other the half? Other... Oh, the first half we had? Oh, that's good. Nice, mm -hmm. nice. Mm -hmm. And we have a cultist, and... Yeah, we, we stopped... a whole book. We stopped her from talking to the head. She was, she was gonna do talking head magic. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. But uh, she got away? Or is No, they're all down, down there. there. Unless there's another exit. It's oh shoot. <laughs> hey, Miss uh uh Madame Duchess Lady. Your Sorry. Grace is Your fine. Grace. Thank you. Uh does this look uh this is clearly a secret entrance, but if you look down there, does that look familiar? Is there another way out of this? Is this like part of your normal <sighs> dungeon? No, it's not part of normal dungeon. This must be uh... an exciting new dungeon. A surprise yeah. extension. This... How recently does it look like all of this we put in? It looks old. So it was basically probably part of the original building, but was just left out of her knowledge yeah. of the building. Yeah. Okay. Well, uh, we we'll have to send the guards down. Uh, and uh, see if we can find one of the other exits because I'm not I'm pretty sure there might be one yeah if we look the, down the, are they all gathered like where the stairs are no. broken like no we don't um, see them no okay they probably saw the countess and like that <laughs> yeah okay so yeah we are made to uh Gather up, but we we on the other hand have a friendly face here that might help us. Uh, oh yeah, identify the identify other friendly who faces. The other people are. I, I I I don't know anything about that. No. Uh huh. 
Yeah. We had ropes on the entire time. We we came at different times. I have no idea how they are, who the others are at all. Uh, I'm gonna like because I, I already had my like knife out and I'm just gonna be like fiddling with it in my hand. And what's the equivalent of an insight check? <laughs> yeah. I know, I know, I don't trust this guy. Yeah, I'll buy that. I just, buy yeah, that. I just want to be like, well, robes slip, buddy, as is noticed <laughs> by yours. I'm sure you must have seen something or known someone. Voices. Voices also tend to be distinct. <laughs> so I think you have a little more of something that you can tell us than what you're letting on. And I'm doing a mix of, like, threatening coercion. Yeah, and I think you had a talent. And I have a talent that lets me, uh, my social talent, clever retort. Once yeah, per encounter, I'm, I'm... you can use your talent to add an automatic two setback dice on the other person. Nice. Yeah. So I'm gonna. That's what I'm trying to do. Find While the... everyone else is like paying attention to insight check him. <laughs> <sighs> so yeah, I'm gonna give you a plus then. Okay. Let me know when I can go. Uh, so yeah, you can. Roll. Okay. Hey! Nice! Oh, nice! Nice! Oh, yeah, he, he looks at the knife that you're holding and then he gulps. Well, uh, when I say that we had robes on and the hoods up, and uh, uh, of, of course, uh, I couldn't help but you know, take some small peeks here and there. So I, 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 I can probably. You know, and he looks at the knife again. Make a small list of, let's say, who was in charge. Thirteen people. Oh, thirteen people. That's a good number. The number of cloaks we know were purchased. I flip like over that. the uh, the pages and I hold out a pen and say, "Okay, list them." <laughs> uh, can you please remove the knife so I can? Yep, I like I flip it, put it back in. <laughs> yeah, and it starts to write down names and uh, who's in charge? Well, well, uh, uh, Chamberlain, of course. Uh, only her. Uh, Which Chamberlain? Yes. Uh, well, um, uh, Owena. Uh, Gwendolyn was su absolutely not supposed to find out about this whatsoever because if we told her we would be dead and uh, I don't know about you but uh, my family has pied themselves off on being people who live long and I tend to live up to that heritage congratulations we can end that tradition if you'd like. No, 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 no. I, 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 I'm... That was excellent. That was a great line. I, I, I'm very keen on talking and living. That's that's my thing. I talk and I live. And I'm fairly certain that you know the laws of the land would be putting an end to your long life unless you help a lot. Okay. Well, uh, there is an ex there is an e an extra exit in towards the sewers, and th then there is one that leads out a little bit uh, to the north. Uh, uh, it's a little bit south of uh, you know. Uh, well, when I entered there earlier today, there was you know a big. Letter sprayed a little bit above it. Ah, it's near the the attractive oh, sign that yeah, has been put yeah, on yeah. the wall. <laughs> yeah, that ah. was... I, 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 I couldn't read it though, but yeah, it's it was yeah. Okay, okay. So, uh, S -s -s someone has defiled my castle. Oh uh, no. no! I mean. <laughs> Definitely not. But also, do you have guards? Sense, anyway. Yeah. Do we have yeah. guards you can send to these two locations so we can hurry up and like stop uh, these folks from trying to get away? Yes. Yes. Uh, 
<clears throat> yeah, yeah I, I will. And she, she leans out from the door and and shouts, "I'll win!" And then five, you know, a, a, a few moments later, you can see the uh, god captain come running. Yes, ma'am, you called. Yeah, we need uh, guards waiting on the secret dungeon exits. I'd suggest that none of your guards be and yourself be allowed to be solitary at any point in case memory magic is. Uh, that's a good idea. Yes, I will make sure. We will be. Uh, uh, quite many of us. We have been talking to uh, Auger, and he has been helpful in testing out who some of the corrupt guards are. I'm pretty sure he's withholding some of the information, though, but... <clears throat> we will make sure that no one is alone. When he makes a small bow and runs away. And you can hear him, f finally, I, I swear, he, I'm gonna stab one of these today. Well, I hope, Your Grace, this convinces you that we were here purely the best of intentions. Yes, I am convinced. Uh, let's go and have a... A little bit of tea together. Oh, me too. Me too. <laughs> yeah, I, yeah, know the per yeah. I know the perfect place. Okay. I just need to sit down. Yes, I want tea. Do you have enough guards going to those locations? We don't need to go there. You trust them? They're going to get uh, it? They're good? I, I trust them. Uh, we, we have another person to talk to as well. Okay. Because we. Oh. Something Old would also have noticed is that Christopher looks pretty shattered. Okay. <laughs> he's like kind of over physically. He's basically he's over exhausted himself mm. with magic. Uh... I have five strain. <laughs> <laughs> That's not good. Oh, uh, yeah. Now, let me see if I've got something. Hey, you don't, you don't look so good, Christopher. Hang on, hang on. I've got, I've got. I feel like up. I could sleep for a week. Yeah, sleep is nice. Get out, take a nap in the sun. It's always good. Um, uh, no, not that. Uh, did we just stop at evil necromantic ritual? Probably. Yeah, I why mean, would... I went through a window. So <laughs> did we. I think you all did. Yeah. Okay, so we were going the right direction. Yeah. Uh, and uh, the Duchess walks out and just goes next door and knocks on the door. Well, oh, that would be Gwendolyn's room, right? Yes. Well, Christopher. She has great tea. I oh. don't have. Anything that will help with strain. <laughs> but I do, when you're ready, when we, I think maybe after this, I've got some sleep powder. <laughs> this scene counts as over, so you can make another one of those uh, cool and. Because um... I, don't, I don't think medicine will actually do anything for strain, will it? Um, no, no. I think it just helps with wounds. I have a question. When I went, I um, you gave me two strain today. Yeah. Uh, I had strain sitting there from some previous event that I'm not sure of. What are the yeah, chances I still had that? Did I definitely? None. Okay. Yeah. So I should only be at two right now. But yeah, but I want uh, Sonja and Christopher to make a uh, discipline or a uh, cooler roll. I'm good at both of those. 
I'm cool and disciplined. I say that, just, and now I'm gonna just get. Advantages. I'm gonna get screwed on this. Uh. Um, I'm gonna go with this one. Hey. Yeah. Hey. So, Slander, you remove two strength. Hey, I'm feeling so. I like shake it off. Just like mm, <laughs> yeah. that wasn't too bad. But I fought a cult. Got rid of the. <laughs> well, Christopher, though, it, it seems like <laughs> you are, you know, exhausted a little bit still. I will offer you my arm, my elbow. <laughs> hey, Christopher. Ah. Hey, hey. I, I'll, I nudge you with my elbow. You look tired. And the door, I'll be okay. The door opens and. No, you won't. Gwendolyn thank you, thank you, comes though. out and. Grab my. Some yes. Help. This is. Um, it's middle of the night. I'm trying to. Sleep. It's rainy. Oh, sorry. I thought we were talking about weather and making sort of observations <laughs> that everyone can see. I'm. I'm My probably mistake. a little too obviously looking for the orange in her eyes. Hmm. That's a good ah. call. That's a smart call. Uh, no, you can see that this when you know what you look for, you can see it because she's pretty close to you. Okay. So I'm probably too tired to to try and mask it in any way, mm -hmm. uh, shape or form. Okay. These uh, people have uh, uncovered something. You will be finding a little bit distressing, dear. Yeah, I was wondering, who wants to tell her about her sister? <laughs> oh, your sister's, uh, like, real, real bloody evil. I should have known John Quill would be cool with telling this. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean, she's not evil, she's... No, 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 she's a little she is. brash, but, you know. No, no, Def definitely evil. Necromantic ritual speaks with the dead evil. Mm -hmm, yeah, mm-hmm. She like a man's head and everything. No, no, no. It's she her handwriting. Like me. She looks like me. I mean, she doesn't have oh, a man's she, head. She right, had right. No, no, no. She, man. she had like a, like a, he said like a, you know, she cut the hit man's head off and was like in, in a, in, on like a plate. Are we talking a basket? I'm trying. I'm just trying to paint the scene here. I was like, it was like on a, you know, like a, like a, on a pike, like a plinth. Uh, on a pike, mm. yes, on a pike. I'll, I'll oh. look to the Duchess the and say... And, the guts and, and she, like, put her hand on it and made it talk, but not, like, ch -ch -ch, like, magic. Yeah, not in, like, going. a funny ventriloquist kind of way. <laughs> right. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to do what I did. I'm going to do what I did upstairs for the Duchess about the kerfuffle in the courtyard and do the whole illusory TV thing. Christopher, uh. you're going to fall over. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh... <laughs> this is just utility magic, so... Yeah. <laughs> you can make that roll. Uh, there we go. Boom. With a triumph. <laughs> I got it in high depth with Dolby surround sound. Yes. <laughs> Christopher's just really good at, like, song and video. Like, like... I'm a member of the AB club. <laughs> Well, oh boy, and she just sags down a little bit. Oh, yeah. A... And and as she does this, you can see two, the three uh, cats push a ch chair a little bit gently forward together, so that it's, she just sits down in it. Oh. As it finishes, I will just look at her, bow my head a little bit, and go. I'm sorry. It's not your fault, I think. It would have been better if, you know... Uh, <clears throat> we hadn't left, I think. We would have still been here from the old days. I'm sure she would be better maybe maybe not kind of impossible to tell the path that got taken 
Uh, I mean, she, she got a little bit more gloomy when we were in the capitals. But I assumed it was more because, you know, she was homesick or... <clears throat> and I probably didn't help. Yeah, she made her own decisions, though. Not your fault. We did a lot of the decisions together, but I didn't know. You're not your vampire sister's keeper. <laughs> I, 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 I feel I say. am, though. I, I'm... I could have helped her. She just wanted me. <sighs> Where is she? I want to talk to her. She ran. But something I've always believed and always liked to think is that it's never too late to make things right. So you might still have a chance with her. She ran? Yeah. Well, she might still be downstairs, but I doubt it. Any idea where she might try to run off to? Someplace you liked here? Well, uh, if she's running, I'm thinking she will probably try to get out of the city. I mean, if... I mean, the Duchess is here. Your Grace, and if you're uh, setting out the guards, she, she doesn't want to stay. In that case, I mean, she's pretty smart, I think. And guards looking for you is always a bad sign. Yeah. I'd actually like to get downstairs to see what's left of the ritual equipment. <sighs> Specifically that copper contraption holding the energy and the head. I'm going to see if I can... If those have been left behind, I th I'd say the danger is past. But if she's taken them with, she may try the ritual regardless, and who knows what that'll do. Yeah. And then maybe I can get some sleep. Yeah, and you, you can see uh, Gwendolyn puts her palm forward, and it's sort of, sort of shimmering. Uh, and oh, I'm going to have to re-roll that one because it does not have failures in it. <clears throat> I don't know how the other one all once had triumphs, but oh, fuck that. This, uh, the... You can see that she conjures a sort of a a compass, a magical compass that's swaying. I, I can't get a good reading, but uh, I don't think she's in the castle anymore. Mm. <sighs> Do we want to go after her? Well, like I said, I think Die? it depends. I think we should try and find her and not waste time look going after equipment that may or may not be there because if we can find her and she has the equipment then we can talk to her and maybe get the equipment and stop her from using it or we can find her and she doesn't have the equipment and we can still talk to her and then find it find out if she left it behind help them talk to each other yeah uh, i think yeah. God damn it. She must have something that disrupts the magic. You don't know exactly where she's gone. Uh, no, and uh, 
Has... Well, it, po- it pointed towards the kitchen. A little bit of what recently, and then oh. it just swirled around. So it might. Kitchen. House fires in the kitchen. We should go to the kitchen. Kitchen, you say? Are, are you hungry? Hmm. Seems as good a place to check as any. Kitchen. I'm starved. I'm famished. <laughs> yeah, we can get Christopher some sugar. Yeah, he's oh, but a little... he's already so sweet. Pinch his little cheeks. Yeah, I, was gonna, I was gonna tap his <laughs> cheeks too. I was gonna be like, he's a little bit peeking. Look at this. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> We're both like just bothering him. <laughs> Christopher, you're staring into the middle distance again. Come on, let's go. Let's let's do this. Uh, up and away. Yeah, uh, and as you run through the hallway, you can hear people shouting in the distance. Mm. Uh, it it. <laughs> And you can see one of them is running, and they have a uh, a bucket with water. Okay. The kitchen is on fire. Can you please help? Oh. I run. Into, I run to the kitchen. I yeah. start yeah. running, and then I slow down a little bit. <laughs> yeah, and as, as you I'm see, gonna run. You, yeah, you can see that the kitchen is, you know, burning. Oh. Uh, and you can see Top Spire sitting there, uh, unconscious in the middle of it. <gasps> no! I go to him. Uh, and uh, Do gargoyles breathe? Sort of. Do you know much about gargoyles? Probably not. <laughs> Actually, I'm, I might know a bit, given they're most, they're, they're, they, most of them live where I live. Yeah. So I would have grown up around them a lot. Yeah. Uh, so uh, make a knowledge roll. Would it knowledge what? Just straight knowledge? Uh, normal knowledge. Lore. Oh, lore. Okay. That's better. <sighs> yeah, they uh, don't breed don't like that. So they, they are, you know, they are... Uh, safe for that but you also know that uh, while they are rock uh, fire tends to still affect them so yeah. they are yeah you know. well, no i was thinking about the breathing thing because i was thinking about you know yeah chris was getting to the point where his first reaction is to try magic to solve any problem and he's basically just thinking about whoosh getting all the air out of the room okay you know basically trying to you know put the fire out by sucking the oxygen out for just a split second yeah. Odd is rushing forward and trying to drag Pop's fire out bodily. Okay. Okay. Uh, I, my I guess is it's going to be an incredibly friend. difficult role. <laughs> uh, so, first off, we will have. Uh. uh, uh Odd making a discipline roll. Okay. You can make that roll now because. Alrighty. I'm not great in discipline. Let's see. Ugh. No. Yeah. You run up and then you can feel the fire just whoosh towards you. So you can feel the heat on your face. You don't take any damage. Ugh. But you know. You, you just avoided, you know, mm-hmm. having your face squashed off. Yep. Uh, help? <laughs> Christopher? Uh, uh, so I can be an arcana roll, yeah? Yeah, and... Um, I'm so thinking at the very least it should at least make the flames go down a bit. Yeah. Um, 
is it's fire, and I'm going to use a story point. Ooh. Yay. To upgrade. Oh, no. Well, we now have three. Yeah. I know. It's the first time in a long time we've had more than the GM. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, <coughs> we can make the roll. Oh no, I succeed, but... <laughs> you have a despair. Mm. Yep. Uh, and You're overcome with emotion. <laughs> Could I say that it's just too much for me and at that point I fall unconscious? No. Damn. <laughs> We're not going to have that much fun. We're going to have fun in a different way. Yeah, don't make us carry your corpse out of here, dude. <laughs> um, <laughs> I'm, I'm... <laughs> you don't die when strain... Uh, no, no, I meant something up. unconscious. Yeah, yes. Yeah. When you don't have any strain left, you fall unconscious or something like that. So it's not death. Uh, you use magic, and you can all of you. You can feel how the air just fushes in all that directions. And this, at this, this time, it's also gotten a bit, a bit warm. So it's like a warm breeze. Uh, and then there's a big crack as the air keeps rushing back in the vacuum you created. Ooh. And you can see things inside of the kitchen just crumble and fall and being thrown around. Uh, <clears throat> and you see how the arm of Top Spy just break. <gasps> But the fire went out, right? Yeah, the fire went out. He has a broken arm. Oh. Uh, I rushed in. I was going to say. <laughs> I'm like trying to wake him up. I'm not. Ad's not talking at this point. This is. I'm I'm yeah. going in with backup heels. I'm like waiting yeah. for Odd to go first on this one. Cause they know this better than me. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh it is uh That's fire. Do you wanna make a medicine roll? Yeah, I do. <laughs> <laughs> I think you can make it now. Okay. Oh god. Okay. Yeah. Two threats and a triumph. Okay, yeah. okay. Yeah, yeah. The triumph so, counts as a success, so. Yeah. A big success, I feel like, right? Yes, yes. You put the arm right mm -hmm. and uh, push it up and splinter it a little bit. And what would you have you what all the debris you can find in the kitchen? It's quite easy to actually just mm -hmm. find things. Yeah, here take like a of... like a shattered like spoon and like slap it on there and like <laughs> Yeah, and, and you know an uh, an apron bit that you just go whirled around and then uh he jerks up and you go oh! and then almost hits you. Ah! So take one strain. Okay. Uh, and then uh, he's the oven and he. Ow! Hmm. And then he just looks at his arm and he goes, ow again. And he scratches his head. Ow a third time. Then he yeah. looks to the side and then he just pukes up some gravel. Oh. Gravel puke. Yeah. While they've been healing him and lots of stuff. Christopher is kind of just sunk back into the corner against the wall. Yeah. Um, arms around his knees like, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. Uh, the, the, I, I, I tried to stop her. She came out from the cupboard. Uh, uh, uh-huh. And she, uh, Shot me in the head. <laughs> right. We're gonna go find her. 
Yeah, you I mean, need she, to rest. She carried a bag, carry-on bag. It was quite big, round. I like Made some over noise, it. though. Like, oh. Uh... I glance over at jean and Slanya, like, does that sound that, like... That doesn't mean anything to me. <laughs> okay. Wait, right. wait, wait. Was it like this? Uh... Yeah, yeah, yeah that, it was like that, yeah. That was the oh, head. That's the, a, yeah, the head did that thing, yeah. The head was mm -hmm. doing that. Yep. Right. With your sister. She, she, she... With her sister, what? Her sister was it's... talking to the head, and the head was making that noise. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, mm-hmm. Yo, it... Whose sister? And they didn't follow you down. Oh, I stayed behind. I thought, yeah. No. The, the Chamberlain's. It doesn't. It doesn't matter. Will. Oh. Did you see anything else? For, was she? Did anyone else come with her? Or no, no. Uh, she, 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 she came alone. She did. It was like she didn't expect anyone to be here. Mm, mm -hmm, uh, mm -hmm. Then she sure. saw me, and I saw her, and we, you know we did. Mm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, 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 yeah. And uh, gotcha. then firebolt, and he... ow, yeah. my arm, ow, that hurts, ow. Yeah, no, don't, don't, don't move it, don't. Just... I. <sighs> We're gonna go uh, after. We, I, I am fine. Uh, I had secured some of the mold. Fuck. And he looks and sees. <laughs> what oh, it's the dead. <sighs> I think I know where wine cellar is, though, so. There you go. There you go. But if, if you run, you can probably try to catch her. She was yeah. not moving that fast. I will give him one of my. I have a health. I have two health elixirs. I'll give him one of those. Okay. Like leave him with that. Yeah. You stay here and just don't move that arm. It needs to heal. I will be back. We're gonna go get her. Stop her. I turn. Look at the rest of the group. <laughs> Now. <laughs> the rest of the Christopher. Group? Yeah. He's currently curled up on the ground. Yeah. On the oh floor. God! I, I'll grab you and I'll grab you and pull you to your face. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Come here, you tiny magic man. <laughs> <laughs> We need you with us. Buckle up and get ready to do some whatever. And next time, don't cause a building to crash down onto my friend. Odd <laughs> is so serious, right? I like lean over. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, you lean over to they John Cole. I'm like, I've never uh, seen Odd like this before. Uh, I, I, Just go what? with it. What oh. is. Uh... Uh, Christopher's uh, cool. Oh, he's cool. Uh, <laughs> no, what, what is your discipline? My discipline is two green. Okay. Uh, uh, Odd, make a coercion roll. <laughs> okay. I have something to that. Hang on. Uh, I. Of course get... you do. Yeah, I get uh, a uh, square. I don't remember. I, I don't have my note card I have three anymore. <laughs> I don't know where it went, and so I don't remember. What, I think it's just like a um, a boost uh, to intimidation checks, mm -hmm. which I think yeah. this would count as. Yes. Okay. Uh, so you get a uh... yeah. So you will get okay. a boost. All right. Focus. And. Do coercion. Okay, here we go. Uh, wait, go on. Uh, now we can roll. Yeah. Okay. 
Yeah, I think I have a mod on my sheet that already gives me one boost, so I don't think okay. it needs to be added like extra. Okay. This. Okay. I'm ready. Hey. <laughs> yeah. Uh, okay. Uh, Christopher, uh, remove half of your uh, strength. Remove. Cool. <laughs> okay. Are you saying I get worse or I get better? You get better. better. Okay. Uh, round like... it up or down? Uh, I'm on five. Round it up. So you remove three. Cool. Okay. Because you're getting, you know, pep talk into action. It's a very, it's a very threats. strongly worded pep talk. It's <laughs> yeah. slightly threatening. You feel a little bit scared. <laughs> <laughs> but it's a pep talk. Right. Uh, door. That way? Yeah. Door. <laughs> and you run out and you, you take the you know service exit mm -hmm. entrance. And you can see uh someone has been dragging something, putting it mm -hmm. down a little bit, and then you know, pulling it up and then going a few steps and then putting it down. Yeah. It seems like this thing is quite heavy. Yeah. So I guess basically trying to track where she's going yeah. by that. Yeah, and, and it's quite easy. So you basically, you, you can run a little bit, so you can catch mm -hmm. up a little bit more. And then you see it leads towards the stables. Right. In that way. And this as way. you as you approach, you can see her uh, loading up on one of the horses. This. Big thing. So she has had a little bit of time, so she has made a counterweight. So she's just putting that one up there and then mm -hmm. making ready to you no know, leg it. Yeah, I go over and grab the horse's like bridle. Yeah, you, you're still a bit a little bit away. So I mean, okay. you can see this on the distance. You are so you gotcha. need to be. Yeah, I'm running, I'm, I'm running full tilt for. Yeah, for I'm. It. I'm gonna run along too. We know, like to we know this is her, right? She's angry. angry. I'd like to effectively mage hand the buckle to the saddle that everything's to, yes. uh, attached to and undo it. Yes. Yes. Uh, um, make a... Okay. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> it's the only roll I make. <laughs> as, as I make running... this roll into an arcane roll, <laughs> says Christopher as every running... time. <laughs> as I'm running forward, I, I have that fancy collapsible staff that I got. Oh, yeah. yeah. I'm like doing that. <laughs> yeah, you don't need to do that. You basically you hold it and then you just flick it and it just goes whoosh out. Yes. Yeah, I do that as I'm running forward. <clears throat> so cool. It's my so yeah, moment. Christopher, your mage hand suddenly just unbuckles this and it just, both sides of it falls down and you can see the head thing falls out from the bag mm. uh, on the ground and you can see the head going, ah. Oh. Is the energy container there? Uh, not in this one, no. Okay. And then she just, what the? And then she turns around and she sees you. And she says the immortal worlds, you meddling kids. <laughs> <laughs> I attack. Yeah. <laughs> <clears throat> And as you come running, she pulls out this orb of magic. Christopher, 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 Christopher! So what is that? <laughs> uh, and it's, if, since you weren't here, it's basically, you know, a crystal that's this big. Okay. And it's is just the, crackling. Like holding all the okay. energy? I have knowledge yeah. law, I have knowledge forbidden, and I have knowledge jewelry. <laughs> and I have runic law. Yeah. What is this thing? Uh, make a forbidden roll. Mm. Uh, that was the wrong. I had a no! set the difficulty, but no. 
<laughs> Don't say uh... that to me. <laughs> but I'm gonna let it go anyway. Yeah. Because it's more fun. Because <laughs> uh, we definitely I'm, had I'm more triumphs than, tonight. Yeah, than yeah. anyone else. <laughs> I think I've had four in total now. Jesus. Yeah. And two of them were actually for something useful. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so this crystal orb or whatever, it contains all the energy that they have gathered. So it has, you know, the life force of about 13 people. Normally one human sacrifice is quite a lot. Uh... <clears throat> And you know that it's uh, also probably the cause of the magic instability. Okay, I'm going to shout out the orb that's got the energy. Does this lot know about the energy that's been stored up? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, I'm gonna. I'm like coming up now, and I'm, and I'm like. Go ahead. Sorry. No, so you I'm go just going to say while they're running up, I'm preparing to counter spell anything she throws at them. Yeah. Okay. I was going to use the magic of words first. <laughs> well, you prepped magic magic. <laughs> so I know you got that. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. So... I was going to like approach somewhat like with my hands like up kind of like, you know, without without any weapons in my hands. Yeah. For the moment. <laughs> and I am uh... barreling toward her with the staff. <laughs> that's fine you do that okay all right i'm just cool because cool, cool. I, I was just gonna like hey okay you're like done for you know why don't you just stop right now why don't you just like give up you know you're you know no one's really on your side anymore your sister still maybe likes you so maybe if you give up now you can still be you know she'll still be cool with you but you know maybe you'll get to live and stuff but you keep fighting you keep running away bad stuff's gonna happen so just stop it And she looks at you and says, my sister is always on my side. And she uh, directs the orb towards you. Whoops! I am going <laughs> to try and hit her. Um, probably in the... I want her to, like, drop that orb. Okay. So I'm going to try and, like, hit her in okay. the shoulder or the arm. <clears throat> Yeah, uh, let me see. Uh... What could possibly go wrong? Yeah, <laughs> I know, I know. This is not a great idea. It's the only one I got, though. Um... I see a mushroom cloud in our very near future. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Try not to hit it directly because I don't know what that would do. And that was why, that's why I was yelling for Christian. Like, what, what, the, what the hell is this? <laughs> What am I running toward? Yeah, you can make your attack roll. Okay, I think I just roll it on the weapon. If I'm remembering, right? Let's try that. Mm -hmm. Nice. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. Yeah. Three mm -hmm. successes mm -hmm. and a threat. Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, so uh, that is seven, eight. It's ten damage. Now we'll. But knock down and stun as well. But do, you, or, or, do those happen automatically, or do you need advantages to trigger those? Um, I think so. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> We're still learning the rules. <laughs> yeah. hey, it's been a while since we've gotten into a fight. So yeah, yeah. the fight's a little different. Not since the last time we fought her. <laughs> hey, yeah. I mean, I wasn't but, yeah. sure for that. You have the sort of the knockdown things, so you slam and you hear her arm just it just screams out ah as the jewel drops, and I'm gonna have to make a roll. Uh oh, <gasps> sorry guys. Okay. Ah. <clears throat> uh... Let's see, it's a blast. It's deadly. Oh no. 
That sounds that sounds I, good. Yeah, I don't like the sound of that. This That means he does wounds instead of strain, right? Think... Uh the deadly uh means uh They are, now. everyone else I think is farther uh, away than me. It, it, it gains a critical rating of two. That cool. sounds bad. <clears throat> it does. Yes. Uh, good luck. But there is a silver lining in this. Uh, where is... Uh, <clears throat> Oof. Oh no. What does that mean? Uh, I don't well, like that. <laughs> <clears throat> it means that, uh, The magic still happened. Okay. Uh, but I'm gonna give. Uh, uh, since it knocks out, it will be a little bit off balance. So uh, I want Slonja to make a <laughs> athletics roll. <laughs> I'm a dead body! <laughs> okay, let me know when I can do it. When I can fail. Yep, yeah, you can you can make the roll now. Okay. Eh. You have hey. an advantage. advantage. Advantage, but that's not a that's not a success. No, but uh advantage means that you can Uh, yeah, uh, I'm gonna remove a thing, and then I want uh, three damage. Uh, and what the hell was the sort of the deadly? Uh, magic attacks. Uh, yes, so it doesn't trigger, thankfully. So you just get three damage, and soak does not remove it. That's three three wounds. Three wounds. Yes. Wait, wait, wait. Uh, what about what about my special talent? Let me double check. It, it didn't trigger a uh, oh, okay. critical, so. Oh yeah, it's only critical injury results. Okay. Yeah. Okay. 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 So three. Okay, that's okay. I'm. Yeah. Still unalive. Good job. Good job. Yeah. Hey! Yeah. Ow! That sucks. Don't be a jerk. <laughs> uh. Uh, John Quill. It rolled. Um. Oh, there's yelling outside. Sorry, sorry, there's yelling oh. inside. Hold yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we go to Christopher then. Go okay, Christopher. Uh, so she's dropped it. She's currently in pain, try and just did a low damage. Yeah. So she's dropped the orb. Yes. I think I'm going to do the same yoink I did with Elwood, but with, with the uh, crystal. Okay. Neighbor's yelling, sorry. <laughs> Okay, so uh, Christopher, you are trying to pick up the orb. Yes. And I will set the difficulty for that. Uh, Actually, I'm trying to do a magical thing which will bring it this way. So even if I don't necessarily end up with it in my hand, it will be further yeah. away from her. Yeah, make the roll. Exactly even. Oh! Yeah. Oh! 
goodness. So I failed to get it, but I'm hoping I've at least gotten it a few uh, a range increment away from her. No. No. Damn. You you lift it up with your magic uh, magic hand, and then it sort of struggles, so it's just holding it there, floating in the air. Mm, creepy. Jonquil? Yes, what do I need to roll? Or what am I doing? Um, yeah. Okay, we've got... I'm afraid it's a mess now. Um, okay. <laughs> You did not get the orb that emptied out. Um, I'm gonna slip off Elwood again. Um, is the orb on the ground somewhere? Or... No, it's it's being held by uh, Thanks. Christopher's Thanks. mage hand, but it's oh, just floating it. in the air, and it's pretty close to where uh, Owena is. Okay. Um, I am. Oh, kitty! <laughs> Sorry. Um... <laughs> <laughs> no, it's good. Um, you know what? I'm gonna s I'm gonna take off my bag and just sling it at her. See if I can give her a good whack. Okay. I've got hurt. Well, no, I've got my slingshot. I've, I'll pull it my slingshot. It'll aim a little bead. Uh, just flick. <laughs> yeah. That's what I've got. I don't have much. <laughs> yeah, m make the attack roll. Uh is it sling? I think this is how I roll it. Okay. Yes. Nice. Uh, that means it's five, uh, no, this was not how I planned it. <laughs> well, you also didn't plan for us to shrink down and come in the castle, so, uh, that's, that's true. Yeah. We're uh, really good at surprising you. You're welcome. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. We're a, co a constant delight. <laughs> uh, that's one way I've heard it. <laughs> you fling away the uh, stone towards her and right you hit her in the temple and she just sags down and <gasps> Nice shot. Is she just like that? Is she just like stunned? Can we like? Yeah, she, she's she's sitting there and she's just and she sputters out some blood. Oh, oh god, oh god! Don't well, I don't want to kill her. I don't think you killed her. I think well, we're can we can we go she's over a and like? She's already dead. Uh, that's true. That's right. Good point. That's true. Uh, and, and she's going to spend two strain. Can we like I want to like run up and like try and restrain her. And, and, and she's reaching for the orb. Damn it! No, uh, it's not gonna no, kick I, it. I, I, <laughs> just, I'm trying. Ugh, yeah, I'm. I'm trying to get knock her knock her hand away from that because that's not good. That's not a good idea. <laughs> bad, bad touch. Okay, bad. Okay. No. How hard are you going to hit? Oofy. I'm yeah. not trying to be gentle. Oh no! Okay. So, so you Sorry. want to use the uh, staff? Yeah. Yes. Uh, not the only broken arm that's going to happen today, is it? Probably no. not. No. Uh, uh, make the attack <laughs> roll. Okay. <laughs> uh, there we go. Two advantages yeah. and a success. Yeah, uh, and I'm going to have to roll another critical. <laughs> okay, so, so basically you just hit and the arm just goes and it seems like it's broken in several places. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> See, I can and she's just screaming and she's lying there and she's holding her hand and it's got Yeah. Listen, I can I can fix that. I am a I am a doctor. <laughs> but you're gonna yeah, have going to stop doing that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Ball okay. Of death. Uh, and I want you to make a deception roll. See? Yeah. Deception. Yeah. Deception. Yes. Why is it deception? Because you know there's no fucking way you can hail this. Ooh. <laughs> okay, fair. 
Uh, no. Oh. Yeah, and, and she's. Don't patronize me, you horrible little person. <laughs> okay, are are we done yet? We can. You gonna gonna come along now? So we don't have to do anything else here. We're gonna take. I'll goats. be continuing to try and bring the orb towards me. Regardless yeah. of what's happening. Yeah, you, you have the... You can just walk up and pick it up. I think... Do we have anything it, it, to, like, tie I put it, it up in my with? bag. Yeah, and y y even just being close to it feels... wrong. Ugh. Okay, I grab something that's in my bag, wrap it up and put it in the bag, just to try and get some insulation away from it. Yeah, you lie to yourself that this is working, but, you know, deep in, you know, no, it's not. <laughs> I'm trying to trick myself into yeah. this. Yeah. <laughs> um, I don't like her. Yeah. And, and now some of the guards are coming. Uh, uh, you, yeah. Oh, and I stick some sort of rag or whatever into Ed's head. It's, it's mouth so yeah. it starts, stops going you, you, uh, you can't do it because he's encased in the glass so it's um, you know uh, it's incredibly but if you shake annoying. it a little bit you, it might get some more liquid into the mouth so you go whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I, I, somehow I think that would be worse yeah. <laughs> yeah. it's just doing like a gurgle yeah oh she cast a spell to make him do that yeah, yeah. just spell magic yeah. I will try that on the head. Right. Uh, I've forgotten how to do it. Spell magic uh, is something one can do. I know it's right at the end of the magic rolls. Uh, no, it's not. It's in Arcana. Uh, difficulty three. Uh, oh yeah, it's not easy. The only reason I managed to succeed last time is because I got that triumph. <laughs> uh, yeah. Uh, wait a minute. Uh, now we can make the roll. Oh, cool. Nice. Yeah. nice. I are good with the magic. <laughs> it is what Very you smart. do. Very yeah. smart. But I've got a feeling that might be more strain, though. No. Okay. <laughs> Stop straining yourself. You cast the spell magic, and uh, it, the jaw of the head just goes up and go mm. stops. And then you swear you can see the eyes blinking at you. I turn, take three or four steps, and then just throw up. Uh. <laughs> Christopher's not built for this. <laughs> Since there are guards here now and kind of like taking care of that situation, Odd is going to slowly back up and put the staff down. <laughs> Still staring at her. Yeah. Actually looking at her other arm. <laughs> <sighs> yeah, one arm is bruised, the other is, you know, shattered elbow or something. I mean, it's... Mm. I mean, if you had powerful magic, you could probably heal it, but... Yeah, no, I don't. I dropped the staff. Yeah. <laughs> Back up where? What? What's happening now? I asked uh, one of the guards. Uh, well, uh, you are free to leave, I think. We have uh, most of the people. We have a list of names. We might want to... Well, we are not trained to deal with magic, so... 
some of these people are probably trying to hide in the city, so we might have to. They, they probably think they got away with it because we might need you to help us round them up. But we can do that in the morning. What do you want to do with this? <laughs> that. Uh, I have no idea. I might. Okay. It depends on Sanya. What, you think I'm going to be offended? Because I'm dead and it's no. dead? No. From our readings and stuff, it's possible we could use this to fix the failure in your vampirism. Yeah, but Best Couple also said there's other things we could do. I'd rather go yeah, through but... them anyway. The weird head. Okay. I just wanted to give you the option. I appreciate it. It's very nice of you, and I give him a big smack on the back. <laughs> <laughs> I, I do the whole, my stomach's still not settled, so I sort of go... Oh. <laughs> <clears throat> You're welcome. <laughs> but I can probably research a way to dispose of this energy safely. With your help, John Cole, probably. Yeah, I can... I can help. I can't believe I poked her eye out! <laughs> um, should we... I'd like to go. I, do you not like blood? No, I'm fine with blood. Oh, and I'd say lock that away where nobody can ever get access to it again. Oh, and the I'd orb? The head. The oh, the head. head. Oh, the head. Yeah, okay. Uh... I can, I can do that, yeah. One of the gods just picking it up. But this is, you know, freakish. And it shakes it a little bit and the head floats around. I've deliberately turned my back so I'm not <laughs> watching the head at all. Yeah. <laughs> uh, it's we'll supposed okay to do that. No. Okay. I'm hoping it will wear off, but it's had some necromantic magic use in it. We'll be awaiting our very generous and wonderful uh, just rewards from the Duchess for our she, assistance in this matter. She, she probably will give you some. Cool. I'm going to go find my friend. <laughs> uh, uh, you dropped your... Uh... Right. Stick. Yeah. <laughs> I pick it up, like, <laughs> and and just, like, use... I just kind of out of it, like, I'm... <laughs> use it to, to start, like, sort of, like, like a walking stick. <laughs> sort of head back up toward the castle, where, where I think, basically where I think Top Spire is probably gonna, um, because he's... He was like recovering, but he'll he'll come out eventually. Mm. Yeah. Again. Anyone want to do something more? I don't think so. We have her covered, the orb covered, the head covered. Papers. Yeah. yeah. That's the question what we're gonna do with the papers. Technically we should restore it all and give it back to Baba Girl. Oh, that's right. It was her. It was her book. Technically, it's her book. Yeah. Uh, I'm still gonna read them while we're just kind of. <laughs> oh yeah, so am I. <laughs> <clears throat> so, yeah, it's uh, her property, but this is very dangerous stuff. Uh, so, uh, you go home to to get a good rest. Mm -hmm. Which means that your strain goes away. Nice. If you get a good rest, if you stay up and read the book, you will not have your strain go away. Mm. Oh, no, I'll fall unconscious. Oh, I'm fine. But... <laughs> I'm fine. Yeah. <laughs> I'll stay up all night reading. It's fine. Yeah. Uh, making sure that the papers are, you know, the pages are, you know, put together right. Mm -hmm. and, you know, it, it will take a little while. Uh, 
I imagine that's probably why you were taught magic in the first place was to fix books. <laughs> Probably. <laughs> just, I'm just a book just, fixer. Just book magic. Just, yes. <laughs> magic. My mothers have other more important things to do. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> After I make sure that um that top spire is okay and like recovering, yeah, Odd will show back up at the. Re I'm assuming the rest of the group is like gather around this book in the library or at uh yeah. Christopher's. Yeah, so something like that. So Odd just appears in the doorway, sort of still holding the staff. <laughs> hey. Which one? Because I think I've gone home. Your Chris goes to the library. <laughs> oh, you've all said, well, yeah. there's I... only one book. So have yeah. you, like... So this is probably the next day. Okay, the next day then. Yeah. Odd looks like they haven't slept. It'll probably be the library because you had the pages. Fair enough. No, you've got all the pages, but I've got the book, if I, if I recall. Odd is wearing the exact same outfit, the entire thing. Probably has not slept. Oh, wait, the, what do you mean? The, oh, the book with the pages ripped out of it? Because we got half yeah. of them, but I've got, I've got the, I've got all the pages at my book. You've got now. all the pages, it's... but I've got the book, because yeah. that's what I, because I borrowed it from Deborah yeah. in the first place. Mm -hmm. But yeah, I'll bring it with me when I go to the library. And the orb. Hey. So how's everyone doing? Better? Yeah, I wasn't even strained I anymore. Great. I didn't even need to sleep. Yeah, just like, <laughs> I forgot. Cool. Cool. Got yeah. lots of oh, chip wrappers just flooded around me. Lots of snacks. <laughs> <laughs> ah, snacks. I don't even have a ghost <laughs> inside me this time. My snacks. <laughs> Listen, you owe me for that time. You kept feeding that ghost, and now I'm eating all these snacks. There's, there's more snacks. There's fine. Fair you enough. Some snacks. Eat I, as I don't many mind. As you want. <laughs> well, I guess the main thing we need to do is figure out how we can dispose of the energy in this orb without any detrimental effect on it. Hmm. Have ideas? Yeah. Who would know that? Is that something we can find in the book, in the writing? Like, is there a like in case of too much orb energy, <laughs> press this. Here's how to ground it. Yeah, like, you know what I mean? Like, is there... Something like that would be great. Did you manage to figure out exactly what she was trying? Because we only managed to figure out half the story, and now you've had all the pages. You find that inside it has uh, a few rituals. Uh, uh, some of them are, you know, about... Turning undead into humans. Uh, that seems to require quite a lot. It also, you know, if you want to, you know, uh, you can also use it to, you know, store into other people. And uh, you think that's probably what she was going to do because, you know, she was going to probably transfer that energy into herself. Mm. You know, you know, what I'd like to do what? if that's all possible. Yes. This energy used to be people. I'd like to see if there's a way we could bring those people back. That is true. True. But they don't have any bodies. I'm, I'm saying it's going to be difficult. I doubt we'll be able to do it, but I'd like to at least see if it's possible. Hang on. Mm. I'm just a little bit concerned you might make some ghosts. I think a lot of the ghosts that I've known don't really like... That's Light true. ghosts. Yeah, can yeah, I like? Can't eat anything. Can I call up like? Uh, is there any? Can I call up a ghost friend? Is there any ghost friend yes. nearby? Yes. Uh, you call out and you can. There is a ghost lingering hey, about. Hey, ghost friends! I need to ask you a question. And for you, you can see this uh, blue shimmering light. Oh float into existence because then normally you, even outside your point of view unless you really call yeah. them in yeah okay ah. hey friend i just want to ask you a question this might be a little are personal are we friends though are we you know we could be we could be you haven't like you know just uh hear me out i wanted your opinion uh how often do you get to express your opinion anymore you know i'm Never. No one has called for my opinion in a long time. 
And that really sucks. And that's why I want to yeah, ask they, you. Yeah, they didn't even they didn't even ask for my opinion when I was alive. I mean, that's that's really terrible. I mean, no one asked me for anything. So I'm gonna ask it right now. They do, You're... They they just go on and on about can you do me this favor? And then I get nothing in return. It makes me just gonna weep and I, cry i'm so and sorry other synonyms. there is a book back there it has huh. lots of synonyms in it i have gotten halfway through it but people don't tend to leave it open and i can't leave, really go through i can the help pages. you with that i can flip pages of your book i just want to ask you if you had the choice and you could have just you know outright stayed dead or become a ghost would you prefer ghost no ghost get a choice <sighs> ghost no ghost that is a hard question to answer because I don't know what happens if you don't become a ghost. Or is it just nothingness? Or you get sucked into some sort of a torture chamber of hellscape? Or are you, you know, Okay, let's say let's of a say you already were kick baskets and walking around in uh, in a, some sort of a heaven and everyone is going, Oh, how lovely to see you. I don't like any of those things. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That's valid. That's true. Uh, Christopher, I've made a mistake. This was, this was definitely, you know what? You do you, Christopher, because I, if you want to try and bring back stuff, I'm not going to fight you because I'm done here. <laughs> Have a good day, ghost. Goodbye. <laughs> I'm like, walking off. I tried. I tried. I really did. You know, I tried to ask. Forget it. We only saw one half of that, right? Yeah. <laughs> you saw me constantly trying to get a word in and like not being able to <laughs> you saw me like trying to make offers and like and like i give up i like turn and just like walk away last the way i see is we've got to dispose of the energy deal with the book whether it's just going to go back to dev row or whether uh we need to have a word with her about disposing of the rituals Mm hmm Holding on to the book a little better, maybe in well, the future. I mean, we can return the book, but what I'm saying is, is maybe the ritual section needs to be removed. Mm, I see. Because well, not all of it is magic. So a load of it is, you know, other stuff, journal stuff. By the way, I have copied down all of the pages <laughs> in my personal notebook. Just FYI. <laughs> I, I I will do as well, but <laughs> Not that not that junk was going to be used to get it time soon, but it is fascinating. So, <laughs> yeah. Well, we'll see what Devereaux wants to do with it, and and they can decide. Yep. 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 I just I well, agree with Jonquil about the whole. There's no bodies to put the energy back into, so that's just mm. that's kind of setting me off. My thought, unless anybody's got a problem, with my thought will be is my immediate attention will go to constructing someplace safe to put this orb. Mm. Until we figure out what we can do with it. Yeah, using some runes and some magic to create a strong box, which means that it will remain safe. I would say just ground it as soon as you can. And like, you know, do what you're going to try and do. We don't know what we're going to do with we've that. We've got some more ghosts wandering around and they've got some issues. But, you know, you've got people like Sonya around who can talk to them and see if they can help them. They're not like always that. helpful. <laughs> I'll be, I'll be honest, every interaction I've seen Slania have with a ghost seems to have gone badly. Not everyone. Oh, right. Yeah. Come on. Thank you. Thank except, you, John Quill. Except, 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 except for the food incident. Uh, the writing on the wall one wasn't too bad either. Yeah. They see? just, they don't get a lot of people listening to them and doing stuff for them. So they just want like little favors, you know? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I just think it seems like a bad idea to leave this lying around as a potential threat or something that someone will accidentally run into and cause more problems. From what I've do. read so far, and could then... I just release the energy? Uh, you could, but you don't know what will happen then. It will... The energy will find something to do. Hmm. Yeah, you can't destroy energy, you can only transfer it. Yeah. And we, so I need to figure out a safe way of transferring it, which won't cause any problems. How and long that might will that take? take? 
how long have you been working on your your architecture sort of business and how has that been long going time. i'm just saying yeah but i could do more harm than good if i just do something willy-nilly you go you've learned something well yeah last time i did something without thinking about it and he kind of gra grasps his arm <laughs> good and this would be much worse right well now we need John Quill's help to figure it out as well and I'm going to say you have uh, two weeks perhaps to think about it mm. <clears throat> <sighs> Got two weeks to that plan. Fun. That was fun. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> there were, there... Uh, in two weeks, uh, it is, if we can, the 28th, everyone. Yep. Mm -hmm. I'll be good to play. And I will not be late that time. Cool beans. And if I mean, it's probably seven, right? next week, will probably be the end of the campaign. Ooh! Yeah. Yay! So this was the penultimate yeah. episode, and we didn't even know yes. it. <laughs> yes, because I did not expect you to, you know, you know <laughs> pummel her to, you know, almost death. So there, we did, we did a good, <laughs> right? Made good. I think it's because roll twenty made up for every <laughs> single other session tonight. <laughs> so yeah, um, next oh. session, the twenty eighth, oh, the twenty seventh, we will be. Having uh, also a uh, sort of a Christmas special <gasps> because it's between Christmas and New Year's, so something that's, must happen. That's holiday-ish, <laughs> holiday-esque. <laughs> yeah, well, and it feels session to Christmas. Yeah, nice. it, it feels it feels like a good way to end the game. Yeah, I like it. Okay, do we want to go <laughs> back around and say everyone's yes? favorite moments and where folks can find you if you have anything exciting you want to plug please do yeah. it uh, <laughs> we'll go first with uh, nicholas yeah yay. uh you can find me at nivinter uh and here sometimes <laughs> uh and uh well my favorite moment was probably murder ord <laughs> Yeah! <laughs> Murder odd. Uh, uh. Term in order. <laughs> but the whole, you know, uh, sucking all the air out of the room and creating a vacuum was also a really inspired idea. That yeah. was just the perfect place to uh, go wrong. Oh. Ah. I did remember the right button. Uh, <laughs> so everyone, everyone's info's in the in the in the chat. Go follow all these cool people. Um, was there anything you wanted to plug? You just say you're here sometimes, mm -hmm. right? That was your yeah, plug. Yeah, yeah. That, this is basically the only place I play right now. So yeah, cool. Well, we're happy to have you. Appreciate you a lot. Um, let's go around and say hi to Adelaide. Yes, my oh. favorite moment was yoinking my... Oh, what? Were you saying something? No, I was going to say our resident berry giver. <laughs> <laughs> that too. Oh, yeah, popping the berries into Christopher's mouth. <laughs> was... uh, yeah, I'm O Adelaide on Twitter. I've got a bunch of shows throughout the week, including one that's starting like in five minutes. So I can get it run really fast. I'm at Cyberpunk on Wandering DM's channel, which I'm very excited for. Uh, yeah, Christmas special. Christmas! I love Christmas one-shots. It's not a one-shot, but whatever. It's a Christmas episode. <laughs> it's a Christmas epilogue. Yes. <laughs> Perfect. Awesome. And you were saying you were saying yoinking your 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 gecko? Yeah, yeah, cri yeah, Christopher just yoinking the gecko out of there. Yeah. <laughs> yep, that was really good. Quick thinking. Quick thinking. <laughs> Amazing. Uh, and Mara. Hi, um, Mara, and I'm at Young Quester on Twitter, and favorite thing was, uh, yeah, go, going kind of, kind of, kind of angry at, uh, Christopher and the situation, and then, like, continuing that for a little bit, and Odd's gonna, Odd is having 
feelings about that because stuff. Um, and thing to plug is I play a bunch with uh, Final Show Films. Uh, and on Wednesdays right now uh, at 9 p.m. Eastern, we uh, are playing Werewolf the Apocalypse. So werewolves running around Las Vegas. It's real fun. And uh, that's going to be ending in a couple months. Um, and after that, we're going to be doing uh, Star Wars. And I get I have a droid and I'm very excited for <laughs> ten silly robots in fancy cloaks. Anyway, that's me. Amazing. Uh, more. Yeah, mole at Molthulu everywhere. Um, I'd say my favorite moment was probably also the yoinking of the gecko, mostly because of the roll, because the roll came up and it's just the one symbol in there. And it just took me just that those few moments to realize it was success. It was like, I think if you look back, I actually did a proper little dance. <laughs> <laughs> Um, the only thing I've got to promote is in January, I am going to be starting to run a masks campaign. If you want details and stuff, just pay attention to me on Twitter. Cool beans. And like I said, I put everyone's, if you're hanging out in the Twitch, the things are in the chat. Everyone's links are in the chat. If you're watching later over on YouTube, they are down below. Find all these cool people, follow all the things they do because they are all awesome. They're doing awesome things all the time. What the heck? Um, <laughs> uh, I'm just, this is my channel. I was, a, everyone went with the, with the, with the, the gecko yoink. I was like, so going to say the gecko yoink too. But I mean, I did also get to pet a cat <laughs> today, which is always good. And I did really like the moment when Christopher just blasted the stairs so that we, they couldn't follow us up. <laughs> Uh, I thought that was pretty good. So then we're all just like hanging out, chatting up there. You know, that was good. And I, I really, really loved that we were having that uh, moment when uh, I know, like, I was worried about telling um, one of the vampire s s twins that her sister was just yeah. doing an evil thing. And John Cole's like, no, no, I got this. So your sister's evil. <laughs> your sister's downstairs doing a necromancy. <laughs> I was like, this is so John Quill. This is so John Quill. <laughs> Amazing. Um, but that's it for me. Like I said, follow these people. Come hang out with us in uh, two weeks' time for the last episode, which just sounds like it's going to be an awesome holiday episode. Uh, come back and hang out anytime, every other Saturday for Spire and just all the lots of different things we do on this channel. So come hang out, follow on uh, YouTube to catch up on all the cool stuff. And we'll see you all around. We have to let people go. So have a good <laughs> night. We'll see you later. Bye. Bye.